Hi boys and girls, today's art lesson is inspired by this book, In My Heart by Joe Wittek. I love the little peepholes in this book. How fun is that? We've got lots of heart cutouts. And it's a story about a little girl who goes on to explore all the feelings that she has in her heart. She says, sometimes my heart feels big and yellow like a shining bright star. Other times my heart feels strong like I can stand up tall and I feel brave. And I can get really angry and my heart feels like it's going to explode. That's not fun, is it? Other times my heart is cool. And I love all the big kind of shapes and colours in this in each of these illustrations. Other days my heart feels hurt. And then other days it can feel heavy like an elephant with a dark cloud over my head. So this little girl goes on and describes all these big, hard, tricky, fun, gorgeous feelings in her heart. And she gets to the end and let's have a look at this illustration. I love this one. It's a picture of a garden with lots of little hearts all over. And she says, my heart can feel so many different feelings and yours can too. Today, my heart is proud. How does your heart feel? So today, I hope your heart feels big and full and colorful because we're going to create some super colorful art inspired by this picture on the front. So we're going to create these two artworks today and we're going to learn about cool colors and warm colors and some really neat tricks to use um, with our paintbrush to make our strokes really smooth and straight to do both of these. Now we need some big A3 paper and you can see here I've added some sparkles so you can have some glitter to add those as well and the paints that I'm going to be using look like this. These are called poster color paints or they might be called tempura paints as well. And you can see that the bit, the discs are really big. So I will use those. Um, if you have watercolor paints, they'll work just as well. It just means that the paint will be a little bit more transparent and you need more water with those. So we will create both of these. You can do both today or maybe one today, one tomorrow. And I can't wait to get painting. Let's go. So we are going to be inspired by this beautiful cover page of our book and we're going to create some heart art with warm and cool colors. So the first thing to do is to grab our paper and make sure it is in lengthways or portrait position and you're going to find a crayon or an oil pastel. I am using the lightest color in my box which is a yellow and we're going to put a little dot in the very center of our page. Now you might not be able to see the marks with my yellow crayon, but you can kind of find what I'm doing just by the motion of my hand. And I'm going to create lines from this point in the middle all the way out to the edge of my page. So I'm creating lots of little wedges and this is gonna be my guide of where I'm going to paint. We don't want them too small and I'm going to continue this all the way around. It's okay if some are kind of wider than others. There is no exact um, measurement for this one. Let's continue this all the way around. Okay, now it is time to paint. So I'm going to be using these poster paint colors by Zart Art. They are so beautiful. They come in a packet of cool colors and warm. So I'm going to be using both. But if you have a set of watercolor paints, that will work perfectly as well. So I'm going to start with all the warm colors. Then I'm going to blend into cool. Then I'm going to go back to warm and back to cool. So warm colors are these. And these are colors that you might associate with summer 
or heat or fire or anything super warm and lovely. So I've got yellows, oranges, pinks. You can find those on your paint palette right now. And we are going to wet our brush and spin our paintbrush around, 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 around in my little cake of paint. And then I'm going to start at the top with my yellow. And I'm going to paint with beautiful long strokes from the center outwards in the first little section um, of my crayon marks. And it's okay if I go right over the edge. That is fine. Now, once I've done yellow, I can rinse out a little bit and move on to my next color. So for me, my next color is a yellowy orange. That works well on my color palette, but it's going to be all different depending on what paints you're using. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Round and round and round. And I can see it's sort of different in tone. I actually think now that I can see this, I'm going to wet my brush and use a little bit of orange because I need it to be a bit darker than that. That one looks better. So I've got a bit of orange on my paintbrush and I'm just going to go over the top, over the top. Now after orange, what color do you think you're going to use? Is it going to be red? Maybe it's going to be pink. We're going to work all the way around in a rainbow color scheme, moving from warm colors to cool. My line is a little bit wonky, but that's okay. Now I'm going to choose my next warm color for me is pink. And then I'm going to continue with my warm colors. And then I'll start with cool. So let's continue painting. Now I've finished with my warm colors, so I'm going to switch them over to the cool. And for my cool colors next, I'm going to use some purple, and then I might use some blues, and then I'm going to use some greens. So what I want to make sure before I start painting is that my paintbrush has a really nice tip. And I'm going to do the edges of my section first. So one outline, and I might even need to get a little bit more water because of enough water and paint will make my brush strokes really smooth. And then I'm gonna go right up next to the other edge. So we're gonna be quite careful. And that means that it's a lot easier to fill in. Now, if I have strokes uh, that are kind of a little bit hairy, then I might need to tip my, or touch my paintbrush into the water just to make it a little bit more wet and then continue painting so they're really smooth. So after purple, I'm going to go to blues and then greens. If you have a look at my water, it's so dark and muddy. So we need to clean that. If that ever happens in your artworks, we definitely need to refresh our new water. And so let's go into our warm colors and repeat this process all the way up until we finish again.